We are here at KLA One, and we are waiting for our. We are waiting for our flight. Mess stop. So we have KPG there. We have Alex, Jin Diesel, and of course me. So this marks the start of our Japan trip. What do we call this trip? We call it Japan trip. Japan. <laughs> Why not we call it uh fuck fuck. Yapun. Fuck Yapun. Alex, what should we call this trip? Yapun Yan Trip. Yapun Yan Trip. Yapun Yan Trip. Yapun Yan Trip. Oh, it sounds Yapun so Yapun 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 Trip featuring <laughs> Strawberry Jam. Strawberry <laughs> <laughs> Jam. Okay, we are in Changi Airport now, waiting for our next transfer to Haneda Airport. And it's going to be a night flight, so we're probably going to all be sleeping. But because in flight entertainment is a little too good, we're probably going to reach. Tokyo and become total zombies on the first day. <laughs> Alright, so we finally touched on Japan yeah. in Haneda Station. Supposed to take the KQ line to the uh, Shinogawa Station. Even though it sounds like we are tired as fuck, but we are probably quite excited as well. We are also tired as fuck. Yeah. So far, everything has been very uh, convenient and easy here. It's my first time traveling abroad in a country that doesn't really speak English, but everything is uh, quite well catered for uh, English speakers, especially English speakers. You can basically move here around without <coughs> knowing Japanese at all, because the staff are quite good in English as well. After our lunch at Matsuya, uh, which was quite a hassle because I can't speak Japanese properly, <laughs> I was I had a lot of trouble to Fix Spring One's order. <laughs> Sudden realization that months of hard work gone down. Right? Yeah, I should just give up their penny altogether. <laughs> I have achieved the status of Shitsubo with <laughs> KPG. Can I say hi? So after that, we have uh, next door. There's a Tayaki store. So we have tried uh, the Tayaki, the, the signature red bean Tayaki. And Alex has tried the ice cream, ice cream sandwich. Is it ice cream sandwich? It's ice cream sandwich. Yeah. Yes. I've never tried it before, but yes, it's good. It's good, right? <laughs> yeah. We'll definitely be heading back here to try it again. Or maybe other places. Huh? I hope I don't get disappointed when I go back to Malaysia. <laughs> we have just uh, checked in our luggage into our uh, apartment for the day. We've been walking for the past... Six hours? Six hours. 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 <clears throat> Non-stop, our legs are hurting, but we're still going to walk some more because, you know, why not? Japan, right? Uh, we are going to head to Shibuya now. Yo. Check out the neighborhood. I'm gonna just take it a bit slow today and head back to our apartment tonight for dinner. Not planning to go out for dinner because way too tired. There are a lot of grocery shops around and I think we just want to cook something up. I think we just had fresh, yeah. Probably now we won't know if we have the ingredients for it and the utensils for it. Check that view out. We are in between Meguro, uh, going leading up to Shibuya. This is a very, very nice and scenic bridge and probably the smallest apartment this one I've ever seen in my life. So this is a major highway and we're walking towards Shibuya, one kilometer away. So guys, we are here in Shibuya and we are at the Shibuya Crossing, the legendary Shibuya Crossing which I've only seen so many times in countless movies. It's, I can't really say it's been a dream of mine to ever been here but it's really phenomenal to be seen in person because of the human flood there is, even on a weekday night. And yeah, the weather is just amazing. Really cool. We simply walked around Shibuya for the rest of the evening, grabbed a snack or two, and looking back, I don't think we planned the first day well enough to take in the sights like Omotesando, Yoyogi Park, or even the Cat Street. That's a famous uh, Cat Street in Shibuya. We heard about it after coming back from Japan, but. 
we were up for almost 36 hours straight at that point thanks to the rocky flight and excitement and we were in no shape or form to do any serious touring of any sort nevertheless we did get some one-on-one -on -one time with the og best boy hachiko adjacent to the famed shibuya scramble crossing here are some shots of the sights we took in at shibuya that evening Day 1 ended with a leisurely stroll back to our neighbourhood in Ikejiri, Setagayaku. We headed to the local Aeon Mart to shop for some groceries for dinner and tomorrow's breakfast. After all, it was only the start of the trip and we didn't want to tire ourselves up. We needed to get a good rest ahead of 9 more days of excitement. Yesterday was too tired to do a house tour plus we were planning a lot of our trips for the day, for, the, for today and the rest of the week. So as you can see, it's quite well fitted with a nice handy kitchen. The kitchen is quite well stocked except they have this frying pan that is completely destroyed from a uh, metal spatula. So this is the main living area. It's quite small but it's very comfortable. That's most important because small I can deal with. It's mm -hmm. dirty and, and crappy that I can't deal with. This is the only bedroom. What's interesting is that that aircon actually has a heating component. Yeah, it, so in case you didn't know, the weather is extremely cold right now. It's <coughs> it's colder than any of my rooms have ever been in the aircon than any of KL has ever been with an aircon. It's ten degrees. So three of the guys are sleeping in there while uh, Mess and I are sleeping outside on the living room so we just relocated this main city dinner table to the side and we laid out the futons and what I really like about this place is that they have lots of coverage lots of uh, insulation with the pillows and blankets and stuff and so outside here is the window and we'll open up and it is worse than two worse than 10 degrees out here it's fucking cold and it's raining and it, everything no I cannot stand this here is our uh, cleaning area which we have the sink so everything has a hot water cold water component sub and washing machine so now here's the superstar of every Japanese toilet, the actual Japanese toilet. It makes you feel like you're taking a shit while being Robocop. I haven't actually taken a shit on this thing yet, so I don't know how it's going to feel. And in here, we have uh, the bathroom, which is terribly small and short but all the walls are lined with um, plastic and nice little diminutive bathtub here the water can get the water heater can get really really warm up to 60 degrees so it's like you can build your own little hot tub on a discount so that's it for the house tour so starting day two it's currently uh, 10 a.m we got a little bit of a late start because last night was just too much. We practically didn't sleep for 36 hours because the flight was uh, very bumpy. 
and you can't sleep on flights anyway. So today we are headed off to Shinjuku and we are ending off in Harajuku, yes, Harajuku. So in, because you guys can't really tell, it's freezing out here and this isn't even winter, this is just autumn. It's about less than 10 degrees. I'll, I have to wear a double jacket. It's crazy. I've never felt this cold before. Of course, I'm glad that I didn't come here in winter. So everyone's going to a funeral. <coughs> this is the road that we take to our our homestay for the duration of our trip. It's in Ikijiri which is in Setagaya, if I'm not mistaken. It's about a 10 to 15 minute walk to the station. And it's a very quiet, quiet and quaint neighborhood in the middle of the city. I quite like it. Here we are in the Denantoshi station in uh, Shibuya. And there has been an unexpected delay uh, train break now. I wasn't expecting this on obviously in Japan, but I also wasn't expecting the rain and the blizzard, not blizzard, frigid weather. Here we are at the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building. This is where in Tower 1. It goes up to 45 floors and uh, I've read online that this is perhaps one of the best free views you could get of Tokyo City. So you can see the city is sprawling. I had no idea how big the city was. Like I didn't even have a concept, but now I see it, and it's very misty today because it's extremely wet and cold. So you can't really get a very nice view, but even from here, it's amazing. Uh, we decided to come here because uh, Tokyo Sky Tree is very costly and very crowded. Apparently, there are two towers to this building and we saw the queue for the other tower and it's way too long. It was insane so we didn't decide to go there instead we came to the north tower which is practically the same I think the other one was just crowded because of tourist uh, attractions and uh, I think a lot of tourist shops were there. There are tourist shops here as well but it's just really empty because I think no one comes here for uh, no one comes here to scalp anyone. And we can uh, look through the entire souvenir shop, which is quite cool because Japanese souvenir shops are nice. They don't have a lot of, I think, pirated stuff. Everything like the uh, original stage, the chip mounts. Yeah, they're all priced the same way as well. <coughs> so, how are you finding this place, Mess? Not bad, quite cool. I'm still looking at the things, haven't seen the scenery yet. Soon. What's the point of coming here? <laughs> There's an observatory here and a guide to give you a good understanding of where most of the places in Tokyo are. And it, you get a nice 360 view around. But it's really just unfortunate that today is a rainy and foggy day. I would have really loved to see a nice clear view. I think the best thing about this place is that it's totally free. And it was really deserted. I was really happy I checked this place out because other observatories might have been even more uh, rubbish than this. And I mean, it's just autumn, but Tokyo is damn cold, man. I'm wearing two plies two jackets and it wasn't enough. Should have gotten gloves, scarf and probably a face mask as well. But besides that I'm pretty much enjoying the trip. We found a few uh, cool machines here. It's a coin machine. You can get your own uh, coin souvenir from this machine. You insert a hundred yen coin, you choose your design and it stamps it out on the spot you collect your coin and you're ready to go so this one is the Hello Kitty one and this one is the generic uh, Tokyo Tourism uh, board one so there's this other machine which is a junket pawn machine so you're playing rock paper scissors against the machine 
you pick your stack of uh, candy that you want to go against the machine and you might get something. And so, uh, Pink One has gotten his uh, Mickey Mouse. It's very hazy, so it doesn't give us a very good view. Well, the view is good enough, actually. Here's the part. I'm not sure which part this is. Uh, it's either uh, Yoyogi part or it's the Sh Shinjuku National Gyo N. Get to work. We're getting a stamped Hello Kitty coin. Which, which design? Oh yes, he's getting this design. So the press is rolling around. Ah, uh, yes. So cool. Nice. So it's got all three designs and... This is Hello Kitty. Uh, this is the one with the Metropolitan uh, building. This is Hello Kitty in a kimono and this is also the Metropolitan building but landscape. Okay, we are in Toko Curry House in Amarite Yokocho which is in Shinjuku. Menu book. It's a, they have an international menu. This is English and so the way that it works is that you can select the quantity of rice. But I don't see any point in eating too much rice anyway. There's the spice level. And surprise, surprise, this is where I went for. Let me just show you the other reason why I came to this restaurant in the first place. Ta da! You, I think, I think I'm the target market for this kind of promotion because you just slap anything in and I'm gonna buy it. I think they're giving out these character standees which I really want, obviously. What is. Oh, sorry, the lighting. But the tamago looks a little brown for me. <laughs> for my lighting. So I can take this one that's. I added a tamago on and it will screw off. So my level 10 curry has arrived and it looks great and diabolical. I'm going to die. This big one's a pork cutlet with cheese. Looks awesome as well. A chicken cutlet with spinach. Alex's uh, special gill curry. This is the best. Uh, Croquette croquettes. Alright, The base curry that they use is the same, but I think they just put tons of chili powder inside. Yeah. And it sticks for a very, very long time. I'm not going to survive this. I'm about 75% of the way done. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm going to die. Yeah, that is golden. Or golden red. Everyone's done with their... <coughs> done with their servings. The silent approval for mess. By the end of the trip, we're definitely going to try another curry house level again. Level 10 again? He's, he's saying level 10. Okay. In Japan, it's quite popular for them to have uh, specialty stores uh, which have uh, anything and everything that you want in one place. And, and Big Camera is one example of them, which is Haven for tech lovers, you have everything, all the latest tech devices, gadgets and well, this being Japan, they carry all the best of their brands and the quality is top notch, uncomparable it's quite a nice place to buy, find uh, gifts for everyone oh and they also have a huge section here of Blu-rays with everything and anything that you want so if you want original Blu-rays for anime and uh, shows, Japanese shows, and even international shows. Uh, here's the Blu-ray of uh, Rogue One, the Jap Japanese version, The Force Awakens, they have tons of Star Wars as well. Yeah, I was expecting to find a lot of DC in here, but I don't think I have anything right now that I really want. Although if you showed this to me about 5 years ago, I would have totally swept about 3 or 4 or even 5 uh, soundtracks. 
But they have everything. They have anything. I think anything Japanese uh, is easily find. Uh, you can easily find it here. What is up? We are done at Big Camera in Shibuya. Now we have taken the JR line, uh, Yamanote line down to Harajuku. And here we are on Takeshita Dori. Uh, as we can see, lots of uh, fashion inspirations and uh, dessert shops. We came here mainly for to check out the nightlife because it's very touristy. Oh, look here. This is Alex. I'm very hungry. Okay. It's very hungry. And okay, look at this. Uh, right out of the blue, there are some crepes and they look amazing. We are in Harajuku. This is dinner time, and we are here in Ichiran Ramen. They give you these uh, individual booths. Uh, it's seated a little bit like a canteen or a prison, and uh, this this uh, border is supposed to be able to separate you from your next customer. This is your ramen, and you have how you like your ramen. You like how do you like the broth? How do you like the noodles? How do you like the spice? And uh, this is the Korean slash Chinese version. And whereas uh, on the flip side, we have the side order menu for the English. Uh, since I went a little overboard this morning on the curry rice, uh, I've decided to go with the recommended recommended ways of uh, enjoying the ramen, which is uh, with medium all throughout. And but Alex has decided to go the extra mile and uh, opted for extra rich French in soup and really really good. So how do you find it? Mine is good as well. I chose a rich flavour. This is a very solid bowl of ramen, and not too pricey either. It's about ten to uh, about a uh, thousand yen, which is very standard price in, in Malaysia. It's going to be about the same price anyway. Very likable place. It's just a little hard to find a spot sometimes, and the setting is very very unique. We are going to the Sukiji Fish Market today. At least it's less cold now, and everyone's a little bit more used to it. Yesterday we were bogged down by too much baggage, also because we visited a lot of shopping areas. Jin Hao, as usual, is leading the way. So you have the outer market, salted and dried fish auction area, no admittance without authorization. So these are the off limits places. But I think the main place that we want to head to is here the fish and seafood market, outer market, and the Bogashi Yokocho shops and restaurants. Fruits and vegetables, uh, we don't need fruits and vegetables. And they sell a variety of kitchen knives here, all I think uh, handcrafted. Onigiri? This is uh, the main attraction here, the fish markets, um, food streets. Have a lot of fresh food, cooked food, any kind of food that you like. Uh, as long as it's seafood and fish, they've got it and it's precious because it comes from the source. First sample during the day is the uh, mochi. So we got the strawberry uh, yogurt mochi and a green tea mochi. So this shop is on the outer side of the market and it has mm, and they're selling a bunch of mochi I think the ones with the strawberries inside uh, that they make are a little bit more expensive for one strawberry but you can always buy the plain ones the plain without strawberry ones uh, for uh, 200 yen and it's uh, 1000 yen for six so I think it's a pretty good deal but so how is it nice very sweet very sweet mm. Because okay, because I saw this on the YouTube channel, the Strictly Dumpling, right? Mm -hmm. They they he ate one by himself. He said that it's too rich. I've just taken a bite, and I'm the green tea. Very sweet, very flavorful, but it's not overwhelmingly sweet. 
I think it's worth it to uh, pay for the strawberry because the strawberry adds a lot of um, change to the flavor. So um, you might just get another one with strawberry because uh, it, it's just damn good, man. And it's a very good way to start your day. Very chewy. It's very sweet. Not like super sugary sweet. This is the strawberry flavor, very good. And the yogurt flavor is good. From Malaysia, we have a uh, sushi zanmai. And now we know where it comes from. It comes from Sukiji Fish Market. Although I don't know whether it's the same franchise or it's just borrowing the name. But this is uh, sushi zanmai. It's a really big restaurant. I believe this is uh, Mr. I don't know what his name is. I'm just going to call him Mr. Zanmai. We have we walking through the uh, Sugiji Fish Market outer section where we have lots of uh, street foods and street vendors. The seafood is amazingly fresh and it's very unfair because these places they keep they keep steaming and frying and cooking the stuff and it tastes so appetizing but we a mess insisted that we should walk the entire place first before we find a place to sit and and you can tell my excitement is rising because here we have reached the tamago the place where you have get the tamago and uh, you can get samples here and this is I think the most popular tamago so we'll probably be trying one or two sticks each and the infamous square pans so it's uh, quite affordable it's only about 100 yen per, per stick and 100 yen per stick is a pretty good bargain because it tastes really good we, we've had samples just now yeah that's the flip and that's the flip and that's the flip and it has this uh, very sweet and creamy flavour to it. So Penguin is uh, in the process of getting us one each. <coughs> so ours will be nice and fresh out of the pan. Today has been very good so far. So Kiji Fish Market is very exciting, very interesting for us. Especially if you love food, if you love seafood especially. And get hype. Your hype face sucks. <laughs> yeah, Alex is very hungry, he's been complaining about eating food for the past hour. Every oh, is it good? Good. good. So, Mess is holding mine, and Jin Hao is having, is, is having a photography crisis now. Okay, I cannot do it all one hand. <laughs> oh, what is this thing they put on the daikon? Reddish. The reddish, reddish. The white color that you put on. I don't want to crowd this place up too much. Uh, headed to the site to have our uh, amazing, amazing. And look, mine is already sweating and it has juice all over the bottom. Alright. Uh, this is called Marukita Secret Restaurant in Sikuji Market. It's one of the, it's on one of the main streets and uh, it's a very cramped little uh, sushi restaurant inside. Uh, but it's nice because we have a place to sit finally because apparently sitting sitting space is a commodity in Japan. <coughs> Everything has arrived. Our don, our miso soups and uh, sushi. So we're all good to go with some nice uh, tea. What tea is this? Is this corn tea? Corn tea, corn right? Tea. This is like corn tea. Yeah. Mm. So, mess. First impressions. Awesome. Alex, first impressions. Fresh. 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 You haven't even eaten it. <laughs> oh, okay. <clears throat> My first impression. It looks good. It probably tastes better. And the miso soup tastes especially good because it is loaded up with so much seaweed. Marukita, the best sushi don that we've ever had. And we just walked right outside and we are greeted with the smells of a steaming king crab. Wait, how many? We got one plate first. So we are probably, we are, like they said, we are just going to get one plate. Uh, yeah, that's it. Get one plate and we are sharing it amongst ourselves and if it's any better, we'll definitely get some more. Okay, so we've gotten our Alaskan king crab and it's steamed and this is just one leg. It's huge. We're gonna take this and we're sharing it amongst ourselves and without further ado, let the damage begin. 
so damn juicy and fresh. You look, look at the way that it just falls off the shell. The shell just cracks open and they've steamed it to a perfection where it's tender and it just falls apart. Pull out some for me. <laughs> Sukiji is heaven guys. Don't miss out. You will spend your entire budget on Tsukiji and you still will not regret it. We've decided to munch down on our mochis that we bought earlier this morning. This one should be the green soybean. Mm. Right? This is... Sweet and sour. I believe this is yuzu. Mm. Black sesame. Very typical, uh, very classic Japanese flavour. Face of food orgasm. <laughs> Not necessary for sounds. Yeah, sure. Check out a big, huge oyster, man. That might be any. Two of the others, or you think the remaining one? The final bite. I got one bite for you, interesting. You sure? Mm. Too much. This is too much. The carnage. Oh my god. We are going to take a stroll across this outermost street because there are a lot of uh, odd, <coughs> odd shops here. This one sells uh, nuts and almonds and um, beans. Whereas this one sells, um, sells uh, some dried crabs and fermented seafood. Oh, it's not crab, it's squid jerky. Right, squid. Can try some? It's basically like squid bakwa. Yeah. It's good. Fresh uh, fish monger here. And so after walking uh, the rest of Sukiji, uh, outer fish market, we have settled on uh, one last snack before we head off to Asakusa and this place is supposed to be very famous for their oysters but we've already just overloaded on oysters so I think that's out of the, out of the question very small, quiet and it's spacious too actually which is nice more seafood so this is a scallop and we haven't tried the mackerel yet but um, the wasabi is freshly ground and when you taste it, it's really different from the, tech, the normal wasabi you have. So I'm just going to take a little dip now. The shellfish has just arrived. Mm. Now this, this sticks the Uh We finished uh, one scallop, we're getting another one. The scallop is good. Uh, but the, mac the mackerel sashimi was very, very good. Awesome, way awesome. Yeah, Thank you. <laughs> but I'm just a fan of this man. This is great. I could have one of this, this bowl, and just have it to myself and just enjoy one meal. That's it. It's uh, a soup and uh, there was a, a way that I ate it was we, we took one clam like this with the clam inside. And then we would add the lemon juice into the clam with the soup and we will slurp it down. And it just gives an explosion of flavour that is unbeatable. I still don't know the name of this place, it's Gan Gan something. Uh, but if you're ever in Sukiji, you should come here for at least one meal. Too bad. We have just finished our trip around Sukiji Fish Market and we are totally impressed. <laughs> the food was amazing. Now we are walking past uh, the business district, uh, heading towards the Giza line because we're going to Asakusa next. So this is the most uh, officey part of Tokyo that I've seen so far. This is a Ginza. I think this is a Ginza area, and it's not that crowded. I think most people are still working. It's been an enjoyable day so far. Uh, the shrine in Asakusa, which is the Sensoji Shrine. And we're also headed towards the uh, Asakusa uh, street.
street market. And probably at night, we'll head towards Jokutsu Yu, which is a which is an onsen. It's gonna be my first ever onsen experience, and I'm very excited. It's just so relaxed. This whole place is so relaxing. I like it here. And okay, we'll talk to you again when we reach Asakusa.